Hello YouTube and welcome to a new TechSnarls video. I'm in New York City sitting outside of our Airbnb apartment and I got my hands on the brand new LG Q6 6 smartphone. The Q6, LG's new middle class smartphone device. We got the press sample here which I can test for a couple of weeks and let's check out the box which has been already opened from the, from the German press office. Uh, life's good when you play more. Okay, this should be the play more device. We got one email number on the side, so we got a single SIM version. We got uh, black black as color. We got 32 gigabytes of storage, and on the back side we get the information. The name is Q6. We get a Snapdragon, a Qualcomm Snapdragon. Uh, it's a 435 built in, so entry level. No eight, no six generation. No, it's a four generation. We got a 5.5 inch full HD display. No, it's not full HD, it's full HD plus. So we should get uh, 1, 000, uh, 2160 by 1080 pixel. So it's not 16 by nine, but 18 by nine aspect ratio. This is the same as on the LG G6. So this is the same here on the Q6. We got a 3000 milliampere battery, at least that's uh, what they are saying, but we get a minimum uh, milliampere hours uh, 2900 which should be the same 3000 I don't know why LG is here a little bit careful we got a 5 megapixel wide-angle selfie camera and that's it what we get on information I think the back camera the main camera on the back side is a 30 megapixel camera so let's get this one out of the box put it aside let's see what we get here we get a black smartphone and white stuff but on the maybe maybe on the end version uh, we get black adapters black cables we got the wall charger it's a normal usb type a charger with the power output of 5 volt 1.2 ampere so we got a 6 watt charger we got um, a usb to micro usb cable really lg micro usb on a device second half of 2017 which cost 350 euros no usb type c why not we get a SIM card tray opening tool, yes, and we get headphones, I guess, yes. Uh, In-ear headpieces, let's check them out, should be white as well, yes, normal, normal 3.5 millimeter jack and normal white earpod like headphones. So that's it, we got no stickers, we got no, or I don't get stickers, I don't get instructions, no, it's no star quick starting guide here because I guess this is a pre-release sample. This is not the actual uh, selling version yet, which should then include papers and instructions and a warranty guide. The device has already been turned on by, I guess, the German press uh, office. Maybe they checked it out. And as you can see, we get the same nearly frameless screen as on G G6, which looks really nice. Okay, we got a lot of reflection, but maybe the screen is not yet at full uh, brightness. But let's, this is really a nice, nice screen. I assume if LG has brought this device out last year, the whole press would get got mental about this small bristle around the screen. So let's get around the device. It's, it looks a lot like the G6 from the material. We will get aluminum frame and we get this plastic glossy backside where you can see a lot of reflections. Yes, definitely. And one thing you already notice is there's no fingerprint sensor, not on the front side and not on the back side. The G6 has no fingerprint sensor. Another thing is we get only one camera, no two cameras on the back side. So no normal angle and then a wide angle lens. No, no, no. Only one, I guess 30 megapixel LED flash and the camera is not really standing out. Maybe a half a millimeter, the thing surrounding the camera or protecting it a little bit. Then we got on top, we got our antenna stripes and we got a microphone on the left side. We get the volume buttons and the SIM card rod, uh, slot, single SIM and a micro SD slot. The headphone jack is on the button. We got a micro USB port, another micro, uh, microphone and the on off button on the side. Let's see, I can reach the on off button with my right thumb pro without problems and I can reach the volume buttons, yes. The volume down button with ease, the volume up button a little bit harder but I don't have to, to move the device in my hand. 
If I operate it with my left hand, I can reach the volume down button and the volume up button without problems. And I can hit the on off button with ease as well. So this is it. Uh, oh, and the speaker. Speakers on the, on the back side. Ooh, this is one thing I'm a little bit concerned about. And the other thing is the performance. I, of course, I have to check out the Snapdragon 435 and the camera quality and another thing that a little bit is bothering me is that in germany the price for the lg g6 is already at 400 euros at a lot of traders even below 400 euros if now the q6 is starting with 350 euros we got only a, around 50 euros difference between the q6 and the g6 and without ever having tested the q6 I would then definitely say get with the flagship, get with, go with the G6 and don't bother thinking about the Q6. I mean, just by looking at the specs and now seeing the device, which looks a lot like a G6, I don't see the advantage. I would definitely spend the 50 euros more. Even if the price of the G6 is falling to 300 euros and the G6 price would be 400 euros, so we got only 100 euro difference, I would still recommend the G6 without testing the Q6. This is okay, this is not really fair making a recommendation without testing a device, but just looking at the device and seeing the specs on paper, this is the thing. Just thinking about the, the better Snapdragon CPU, getting the two cameras and thinking about the fingerprint sensor. You are missing a lot of things without the fingerprint sensor and this is just what I, this is my first in, in impressions on the device. But this is it. Of course I will do a setup video, of course I will do a testing video and of course I will do a comparison video between the Q6 and the G6. Uh, hopefully uh, confirming my first impressions. But this is it for now guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.